Anna has one that I had no idea about, and I, I love this. In fact, I think Donna's got a couple of quick tips for us. But she says, something I re- discovered recently, I had no idea that you could use markup, uh, the iOS functionality, on a photo that is already in an email draft. So you've already attached it. You've already put it in the email draft. You haven't se- hit send yet. Uh, but she says, I've always done markups in photos first. Uh, and then added it to an email. I did not know that you could do that. She says the option is pretty evident. Uh, when you look, there's a little markup icon in the uh, kind of up on the above the keyboard in the in the right there. And uh, she said, I'd just never seen it before. What gets really interesting is that you can hit that markup button, she says, when you are not on a photo and it opens a blank page that you can draw whatever you want on and insert into the email. So you can you can effectively mark up from a white background with whatever you want to do. So if you want to draw a little diagram for somebody that's easier to draw than try and tap out, you know, a description of what it might look like, boom, there you go. So that, you might have known the first quick tip. I did. The second one, I did not. So and this is what we love. So I'm already at one. Some of you might be at two.